Okay YouTube, today we're going to do a carburetor on a Toro Recycler. It is a 6.75 149cc Kohler motor. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take the air filter cover off. Then the air filter. Then the two nuts holding the air filter assembly on. Air filter assembly just slides right off. You just pop this hose off and this hose off put them back on later. Now we're going to remove the fuel line and drain it into a bottle. I use a clear water bottle that I've shaken all the water out. That way I can see what's coming out of the ga uh, gas tank. Um, this is yellow gas, so it's old gas coming out of it. But I don't see any water or anything in it, so at least it's not that. Um, while we're letting that drain, we're going to take the uh, recoil off. Now we're going to lift this plastic cover off. Now we're going to bend this up slightly so that it can go over top of this pin. And get it over the pin. Now it will be at an angle that this can slide out. And that's how you get the choke arm off. Now we're going to remove this throttle arm. And then the spring. Which is fighting me because I'm using one hand. All right. Oh, and this is overfilling. So now we're going to get a fresh. We're going to dump this out in the uh, disposal tank and get a fresh bottle. All right. Now this carburetor is ready to pull off. Just pull straight out. Now you've got this carburetor out. You can pull the uh, choke arm off of it. See how it just curls over like that. Just pull it down like that and pull it straight out of it. Now remove the very bottom 10 millimeter bolt and remove the bowl. Now remove this pin, very gently pull out the float in the needle valve. Alright, inside that is the jet, right in here. That is what we're going to be cleaning out, that is the most important thing. We'll also give this a good rinse through and then we're going to spray carb cleaner through it and this hole and this hole it needs to pass through nice clean solid stream if you have to you take a wire from a, a wire brush or a wire wheel um, and you poke it out uh, you can use a bread tie and just burn off all the paper and just poke poke all these holes through and then spray with carb cleaner okay just like I said uh, we got the little wire we're going, you know, out of the wire wheel. You just grab it with a pair of pliers, yank it right out of the wire wheel. Don't drop it. Don't lose it forever. Okay. And then you just want to poke it into the jet. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I don't think I'm And then you get it nice and clear, cleared out. And you poke it into this hole. Just get it in as far as you can. Poke it in this hole. Get in as far as you can. This thing wasn't horribly dirty. The jet was a little clogged. I felt a little resistance. So you take and blow out this jet. And then you blow out this hole. It should go through the jet. Oh, no, not this one. The other one goes through the jet, I guess. Oh, oh. There you go. Maybe it's this one that goes through the jet? Yeah. Nice solid stream, and that's how you clean the carburetor out. Now we're going to clean this bowl out. You see how the bowl gasket stuck on there? I'm going to leave the gasket on there. It's stuck on there, and I'll just gently make sure I get it back in place on this. But I'm going to give it a slight rinse, not too much because it's not too dirty. Um, it, I'll be anything that you need, like the gaskets and stuff. I'll put in the link uh, in the uh, link in the description below, so that you can get a new carburetor. It'll come with the air filter and everything, um, or the I'll find the carburetor kit, anything like that that you would need for for fixing this carburetor. But all right, I'm going to clean this bowl next, uh, just because I forgot to show you. Don't forget to rinse out the uh, fuel inlet. Make sure it's nice and clear as well because that can get clogged and if no fuel goes in it will not run. Rinse off the needle valve and the float make sure there's no debris on it. Gently reinstall the needle valve and the uh, float and then put the pin back in to hold it in place. Reinstall the uh, uh, bowl. Um, the 
drain bolt goes away from the fuel inlet. So we're going to get it in like that and make sure that it's away from the inlet, the opposite side of the inlet. Then you reinstall the bolts in the center. Now we're going to take an air hose and we're going to blow out the fuel tank to make sure there's no leftover bad fuel or dust or debris inside of it. Now we're going to reinstall the carburetor. Um, th this side is out, this side is in. Make sure this gasket is in place and then just slide it back in. Reinstall the throttle. Reinstall the, this, this spring isn't hugely important if it's broken, but uh, it helps keep it from surging, but under a load it won't surge. Um, reinstall the fuel line, and the clamp, and the most important part that I want you to see is you put the choke arm through the hole. Oh, here, I'm gonna have to use both hands. All right, so you get it down kind of next to the tire, get it in the hole, bring it up, and then around to the choke arm again. And now you're gonna get this to turn all the way over sideways where this fits right down in it. Then when you get it back in place, just push it back down level so that it can't get past that stud again. Now we're going to put the air filter assembly back on. Plug the hoses in. Then just slide it back in place. Two ton millimeter nuts. Reinstall this cover. Make sure that all these spacers are on this. Sometimes they get stuck in the cover and fall out. Just make sure they're on it. Then you reinstall the recoil reason those spacers are important is the recoil goes outside of the spacers and sits here like this sits down on it the spacer keeps you from squishing into the plastic I'll put the air filter back on uh, if it's like this you just blow it out with the air hose if it's pretty dirty just replace it with a new one now just simply add gas and mow, mow your lawn all right guys so again any of the things that uh, you may need for doing a fuel system on this Toro recycler it'll be in your uh, uh or it'll be in the description below um if this helped you in any way shape or form hit that subscribe button give me a thumb up something to show some support uh it, that's it thanks a lot guys here's today's t-shirt i don't know if you can see it peace